Rich Toronto with TMC. Thanks for watching. I'm in the AirWatch booth and I'm speaking with Victor Cooper. Victor, welcome to the show. The show is going great. Thank you for the welcome. Looking forward to a positive week. We've got a lot of things happening, a lot of announcements, and we're equally excited. So let's cut right into it. You guys are um, one of the major players in the MDM space. Tell us a little bit about that, what it is, and why it's important. Sure, we see it as more than just MDM. We see it as enterprise mobility management. It really started with MDM. Now it's evolving into application management and content management. So you take the device management. That's the, really the bread and butter of configuring the profiles, setting down the Wi-Fi, sending down VPN profiles. But then you can get into application management with layering on our SDK for extra security and also with application wrapping. Then it goes into the actual content. So a great example is United Airlines with electronic flight bags, saving 326,000 gallons of gas with replacing their uh, flight books with the, uh, the content going down to the iPad. But even more, it goes into technology integration, integrating with network access controls, unified communications. So we really see it as just more than MDM, and it's a full EMM platform now. Fantastic. Now, um, in terms of some of the news, can you share with us what's happening? Sure, absolutely. We, we just secured 200 million funding from Insight Partners. We also re received 25 million dollars from Excel Partners. So that's some of our recent news. The, later on this week, we'll be announcing news around our secure content locker for our content and collaboration, and also Desktop Sync, where we uh, hope to own, own the space there as well. So content locker is kind of cool. I think one of the um, one of the benefits of that, when I first was introduced to it at a uh, show in Barcelona a couple of years ago, was the um, ability to send to your board of directors some confidential documents yes. and then have them kind of self-destruct, kind of like Mission Impossible. Right, exactly. And board books is where we see the secure content locker being used a lot. And it's also not just time-sensitive material, it's also geolocated material. So that you can only access the documents, whether it be a PDF, whether it be rate sheets, uh, you can only access that when you're in a certain position. Also with time-based profiles, you can only access it from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then it goes on to the multi-tenancy and the different roles that you want to have the people access it for. So the board of directors will have access to the book, but then if you only want to have your associates look at something not as, not as, not as important, so it goes back to a multi-tenant architecture. Now uh, from a competitive standpoint, how do you see your company? We see our company as the leader in the EMM space. We, we feel that we have the most diverse range and diverse set of features. We have the most APIs that Samsung has offered for Safe and Knox, and we are very closely tied with Apple and Nokia as well. Just recently, we, we see the news about Nokia's internal deployment of Windows Phone 8, 25,000 devices. AirWatch will be managing those. So we feel like we're far ahead and one step ahead of the competition, and it's all about being able to react quickly to the new operating systems, and the, the R&D staff that we have, 400 strong, we're able to tackle those challenges and be one step ahead of the competition. Now, um, a few of the IT service management companies are adding some uh, at least basic MDM capabilities to their platform. Sure. Uh, how do you see that in terms of a competitive uh, threat? Sure, we don't really see it as a competitive threat. We know that we have the leading platform, but you always have to keep stay on your toes, correct? And with AirWatch Professional, one of our newer products is specifically targeted at a small and medium-sized business with up to 50 devices. We think we're uh, just a little bit better on the feature set, and once you really dig down and do your due diligence and compare all of the vendors and all of the different capabilities that are out there, we know that we're in the lead. So what's next for AirWatch? What's next for AirWatch is going to be an exciting year for us. We're looking with the, with the, with the new funding, we're looking at expanding our R&D team, expanding our presence globally, and really, really marketing our secure content locker because that's where we see the market heading with the applications and content. Of course, MDM will always be our bread and butter. Thanks for your time. Absolutely, Rich. Thank you.